Hey Brazers, how are you guys? I just noticed Foodie Beauty is live. The title is a bunch of emojis. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. I figure let's watch together. Who wants to kiss my head? Not it. Nope. See, any man who loves me would kiss this. Uh-huh. My face. Wait, Liliana asked, wait, why is everyone saying Chantel is on drugs in the comments? The F L M A O. Lilian, in case you haven't noticed, she is. Let's keep going. Can you die quieter? <laughs> Jeez. Well, let's not die, please. Yeah. I don't feel obligated to be on live stream. I thought you were busy today. Everyone thinks I'm on drugs because everyone just thinks I'm on drugs. Because you are and you have been. Let's not act like we just pulled that out of thin air. Come on. Uh. happen Lydia asked girl what are you doing Karen said just got home what's wrong diabetes has to be managed feel obligated to be on live stream oh Alyssa did you call in did you call into Natter's live stream last night what I was I didn't watch the whole thing but then like people were like saying like somebody called in your Cuba rage as a troll uh huh Oh, wow. Alyssa said I didn't know he was and, doing uh, that. Slim Jim, hey. The TV. Yeah, no, I sold the TV. I, I can put. I deleted my Kijiji post, but I guess I can try to find it. Why oh, did I have the you sell the TV? That's why people think you're on drugs. Why did you sell the TV? If you know, you know. And I'm sure a lot of us on here know. Come on, Sean. Stitches of the guy I sent the TV to. Why did you sell your TV? Hi, Bonnie. Maybe thumbnail boohoo? Anyways, I don't even miss it. Please let Pete take a life insurance policy. Yes, I need to get a will. I'm not kidding. I'm thinking about my own mortality now. Um, people around my age start getting life insurance policies. I gotta think of the beneficiaries very wisely. Yeah, the baked Korean, the baked Korean said death is normal. I mean, it's definitely part of life. Um, Faith asked, "What did I walk into?" Faith, I ask myself that. Okay, this is our thumbnail. Woohoo! What the one eye? Oh, that's creepy. Um, anyways, Faith, I ask myself that every single day when when I, she goes live and we come in to check it out. I'm like, "What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Why am I here?" But here we are. Where Benny should be. Are you going to call in sick? That's what I'm doing now. Why are you sick? It's morbid, but it's a need. Yeah, I mean, these are things that are part of life, unfortunately. Right. Trigger Angie, hi! Alright, let's go to real time. We're just a couple seconds man behind. Man and wife. A pizza delivery man. I put it on Kijiji and... I sold it for like 120 bones. But why? Hey, Down Under. But why? Like the other day. Girl, you can't afford a funeral. <sighs> right now? About the only headstone I can afford is DIY headstone. <laughs> well. This is not funny, I know. I'm it's not joking. really not. Guys. It's really not funny. Honestly... Death is a part of life. Sickness is a part of life, I guess. So, whatever. And I've been shitty with my health. I'm not surprised. But, this is a sign. I need to start... Neely Nachtigal. Keely Nachtigal. Hey, Keely! Welcome to Very Important Music, where you sent bees. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Jeez. It's mm -hmm. not the only thing I butchered today. Wait, that sounded bad. I have a question, foodie. You said you were busy today. Is this what we consider busy? Just lounging? $120 headstone. Yes, Karen, I think I'm sick. Send help. Oh, no. Detoxing I'm or passing. sick? Oh, no, that's not funny. I might be. You know how Nick always says that? I'm passing away. I think Alyssa called in because <laughs> he was like, you're my new girlfriend. You're like, what? 
Oh wow. Oh, been here pond dude. Close enough. Okay, I'm only gonna answer every other question because. Uh huh. Send glucose strips. Okay, let's go see if I have glucose strips. I need okay. to get some underwear on me. Okay, just give me a few minutes here. All right. Uh -huh. I know Liliana. Oh, Liliana, sorry. But Slim Jim, Slim Jim said you need some milk. Here's the deal. What's the deal? Tell us. Oh. Funeral fund. Excuse me. Am I the only one not amused by this? Like, not amused by laughing about headstones and stuff like that? I mean, I had a friend in high school who passed away and his family couldn't afford a headstone. And um, that's a reality, so I don't know. I'm not really amused by this at all. I need more than that. Listen, I'm not joking. I honestly think I'm gonna like write out a will. And if you're that scared, if you're that scared, maybe you should actively start changing your life today. Not tomorrow, not on Friday, not on Sunday, not on Monday, today. You have the ability to change your life today. Stop coming online and, and talking about this stuff that is just, like, it's not amusing. It's not funny. Like, stop complaining about your life and do something about it. Tata. I mean, I don't have one. Like, you even have to be ready to, you even have to have money to die in this world? Jesus. Well, he was left with nothing, so we're just going to put a hole in the dirt. And, uh, bury your body here like you were a piece of crap all your life. Wow. And this is why you don't place value on your life by how much you have in your bank account, because that's just ridiculous. You die in your skin anyway. So I want to just point out, she's getting super chats. People are donating funeral funds. Why are we encouraging this? Like, why are we encouraging this? <sighs> funeral money. Woohoo! <laughs> Watch me get all kinds of super chats because people are going to support the funeral fund. <laughs> you are. Dollar ninety-nine. How much does it cost? Might be cheaper for... Ugh. Ugh. It's insane, it's expensive, and it's something that families struggle with when we have to bury our loved ones. Like, this isn't funny. I'm not amused. Ugh. All right. Vegas, don't, Vegas also don't laugh. Your heart is beating too fast, Chantal. Um, she got another super chat for the funeral fund. The ghost of Mimi Pondu said, yeah, funerals are expensive. They are. Crazy. Swear to God, I'm just insane. Oh. This one's a memorial outside the outhouse. Oh, gosh. Booty, have you thought about it? Like, if God forbid you did pass away, what would the preacher say at you, your funeral? What, what positive things would your family have to say? Like, I think about that often. Like, I always say, I want to live my life so the preacher doesn't have to lie at my funeral. I think it's a good way to live. She sold farts in jars. That's going to be what they have to say. Sympathy. Funeral fun. Oh, that makes that? feel good. Whoa. Are you guys going to come to my service? I'm sure you'll live stream uh, it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, she's I getting feel so more, supported and loved. More super chat. $10,000. What? How can that be? I don't know, you but... You get buried for $10,000. So, you get married, you got to dish out $10,000. You die, you got to dish out, dish out $10,000. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Funeral fund. Oh, Thank you. Jeez, I might need this. People are calling dibs on her wigs. Now, I took my medication earlier, but I'm not sure if I threw it up. I need to look cute today. So let me get this straight. You're so sick that you're on live stream collecting super chats. Got it. Just want to make sure I was clear on what's oh. happening. <laughs> Let's go. 
BBJ. I'm gonna test my blood sugars. God, BBJ. Come on, BBJ. Come on, girl. Someone called dibs on our computer. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling a bit better though after I barfed. Okay. Great. <sighs> See, I want her to ask herself, am I really sick or am I coming down? And I really wish someone would ask that to her if she really thinks she's sick or if she's just coming down or coming off, whatever it is that she does. Beebiest angels of the 10th degree. You get your big caboose out of here, you. Oh, go get your caboose. Go. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's go to real time. We're here. And we're staring at the ceiling. Nice. Okay. They love Aww. these things. Someone sent a super chat for Pete's. Oh my god. Even though they just had chicken stew and crunchies. <laughs> I, know, I don't want you guys to think I start. For Pete's. <laughs> for Pete's to survive after me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lolo. Yeah, I know. Pet cremations. Someone asked what about the cats? That's all you're getting. No, I don't care what the vet said. Look, I know she said you can have unlimited treats, but the bank says no. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. The bank of Chantal is closed. Oh, we know. To all people. Blood sugar, yes. Lilia. They made her and Didi ran off with all the money. Give me two seconds here, guys. Okay. Oh, I wanted to tell you, Liliana, my, uh, wait. Hold on, my, no more BBJ. <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. Okay. Where are you still holding? So my chart was... Uh, Aries Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising. I don't know what that means, but I think you were a Cancer, eh? So we're not the same. Please don't die. I need entertainment. I'll try to make my funeral funny. See, I, I'm a firm believer, like, our words and our minds are so powerful. Like, I wouldn't even want to put that into the universe about myself. Like, I'm scared about what we speak. Like, because I feel like we... We speak things into existence. Don't make fun of me. It's just what I believe. So her just being so casual about this stuff and joking about it, like, it makes me, like, ooh, cringe inside. Ugh. Okay, let's do this. All right, are we checking your blood sugar? I'm only joking. Stinkyana about... said, Trisha Paytas has an Aquarius moon. Can't be a good thing. <laughs> Liliana said, Aquarius moon is what makes her such a weirdo. Um, Alyssa, ugh, okay, let's because. go ahead and watch some more. <clears throat> I want to weigh myself, too. Okay. I'll go myself first. Someone put 339.6. Gained three pounds in a day. Are we weighing ourselves right now? Body weight is 339.6 pounds. Body weight is 339.6 pounds. Chubby. Okay. Chubby. Karen said it's Don't the hat. In the corner for food. <sighs> Sarah Jane said down seven pounds. Chubby. Oh, I was going to show you. Come here, Chevy. He waits. What is what is Vegas doll going on about? Chant Vegas doll said, Chantel, you need to stay alive to peg me next year. What? What? When he thinks it's going to be feeding time, he always... Uh... Hmm? He always... Waits in the corner patiently. I just fed them like three hours ago. I'm not giving them more chicken stew. No. Let's 
see. I guess they can try. You can try, but you won't succeed. Okay. Friggin' grifters. Okay. Okay. Just let me take my puffer and my blood sugar here. All right. Someone said, Pete's your twinning, also Kim K. Chef, <sighs> Down under. Okay, Chef asked, are you for real baked? That's terrible. Someone's saying, test. Test. because she is sad, miserable, and racist. Who? Someone said, wash your hands. She doesn't believe in that. He's permit. expired on 12 31 2021. Mm -hmm. So, not very long ago. And they were stored in a cool place. Yeah, Sarah Jane, Sarah Jane said they are not bad. They are just. So I just have this thing here. Sarah Jane said they are not bad. They are just required to have dates on stuff. I'm going to wipe off my finger. I don't have alcohol swabs, do I? Oh. Kaylee asked, no more edibles? The ghost of Mimi said, Nashi withdraw? Okay, let's. There she is. No more edibles, uh uh. Smoked I don't believe a long, it. Long time. Smoke a little here and there, like I smoked a. a little bit of indica. I got indica this time, like. I ran into the pet store, then I went next door to the place I thought maybe that would help with nausea. Or if I am having some kind of like THC withdrawal, I don't know. You're into having withdrawal. In my system, so I just thought maybe that would help, but not really. <laughs> A little bit. It made me fall asleep easier. All right, so. So. Uh -oh. I have it on two. It's ready to go. So I'm just gonna. All right, let's see this. what it is. Hey, J boy. Ow. Kermit asks, "How do you wipe your hand with alcohol and start rubbing your face?" <sighs> Kermit said, "Please wipe your so hand again." Our readings are not in like hundred. It's like it's good. Five point nine. Five point nine. It's perfect. Actually, it should be like five. Five is good. Five. Five to six, that's that's good for fasting. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa said, what WTF does that mean? Vegas all said shocking. Yeah. It's not A1C, it's blood sugar reading, blood sugar level. Thank you, existence. Shocking. I told you I don't have blood sugar problems anymore. Because uh -huh. <laughs> people don't believe me. Because I just, I don't know if I do or not, like, I'm sure it fluctuates. Right now I'm fasted for quite a while. So even for fasting, that might be a little low. Not really, because my blood sugar used to be, like, if I go through the history of, um, if I go through the history on my thing with you here, like, let's look at the history. Um, so I'm going to go in my history. Fake Pete said, you can't just cure diabetes. Um, Deuteronomy asked, yeah, what is a high reading? Let's see. And you know what I mean? Said it's called denial. All right, let's go to real time. It was 5.6. Uh-huh. 212 February. Was that before? 8.6. So this was earlier. Yeah, people are saying Google says that's pre-diabetes. Alyssa said it's considered pre-diabetic. I just looked it up. 5.11, that was last year. 6.8. Someone said, oh my God, 8.6. There were times, see, it's been pretty low, like when I've been doing it recently. But if I go back, back, I'll show you when it was really high. 6, 7. Then we start going lower. You see how it's like, at, now it's 9.1. That's high. Yeah. 10, that's high. Oh my gosh. 9.6 is high. 7.4, high-ish, 
pre-diabetic, 10.2, definitely oh. high. So, I mean, I it's been going down is what I'm saying with the, I did, like, I know I'm still heavy and I eat like shit, but I did lose 70 pounds. So I think that did have some beneficial, ter- like, you know what I mean? And I was on the Ozempic for a while. Maybe that did have an effect um, on my overall blood sugar regulation. I'm not sure. But. Hold on, I gotta read this comment. Lil Burton, she said, oh no, don't be like Amber and her 80 pounds. Alyssa said, well, congrats on curing your diabetes. Satanic Potato said six, let's see, six is diabetic. Hmm. I don't know. So, <clears throat> um, I think what, what it was, just to clarify, I can get definite answers from my doctor, but I think I was always just, I don't know. I don't know if they like say okay you're diabetic they go by your blood sugars and your a1c levels so like um curing your diabetes yeah type one is yeah that's like really serious like it's not reversible and Mm -hmm. i think type one is very deadly too like it's you're born with that one eh i'm not taking ozempic anymore because my doctor like my mom is diabetic and my mom is so on top of everything like testing all the time she really watches her diet like she's scared and just because her blood sugar may be at normal levels she doesn't take that as an opportunity to like stray away from her diet she just continues to just strive to do better I guess I don't know so when foodie's just like oh these are my levels I don't care it's good right now so I'm just gonna eat and do whatever the heck I want like I don't understand that mentality I had my a1c done again or my blood sugar and like it was she didn't feel the need to like put me back on it like Mm -hmm. I don't know Okay. I promise Liliana, everybody, I swear on my life, anything you think I think sacred, I will swear on. I have not done any drugs other than weed. I don't believe Very you. high doses of edibles, Booty, yes. But you promise on everybody's lives. I'm supposed to believe that you, you hold your life in such high regard. You promise on anybody's lives. And I've never seen anybody do that. I've never heard anybody do that. Stop doing that. Ugh. And like alcohol since July 8th when I quit it. Like you guys would know. Like you guys would know. We do know. If I was still using. Like I was. Like if you look back at my videos when I was. Um. Oh, yeah. Type 2 diabetes can be caused by bad diet, of course. And it actually, people don't believe this, but it can't, if you caused your type 2 diabetes with a bad diet, you can actually reverse it with a good diet. It's possible. Okay, my name is Mud said, you, you said you did shrooms and juice. Come on. Exactly. I think she, she can't keep track of her lies and her own story. What about shrooms? Oh yes, shrooms, sorry. But I haven't done any illegal substances like that. Like I've tried the shrooms. I don't like shrooms. Um, so I haven't done them really since like you've seen me on them. I haven't done them really. It's either you did or didn't do them. Kermit the Frog said Nader said you did, we'll just call it C or cola. Yeah, I, I believe it. And Stinky Yana said, no, not the sniffing. Hmm. Um. I don't like psychedelics. I don't need them to feel out of my mind because I just have mental Ill- health problems. So <laughs> seriously, I'm just, I don't like that feeling. I don't know why people would willingly do that to themselves. I don't know, Cody, uh, who are you trying to convince us or yourself? Anyways, you guys, we will check back in with her later. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye.